Did Jesus teach that David had sinned by eating the showbread? This is the question that we seek to answer today as we continue our verse-by-verse -verse study of the book of Luke on Walking Through the Bible. If you have a Bible with you, you can turn to Luke chapter 6. We're going to be reading from verses 1 to 11. If you don't have a Bible, don't worry. Just follow along with us on the screen. The version that we'll be reading from is the New King James Version. So, Luke chapter 6, beginning of verse 1. Now it happened on the second Sabbath, after the first, that he went through the grain fields, and his disciples plucked the heads of grain and ate them, rubbing them in their hands. And some of the Pharisees said to them, Why are you doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath? But Jesus answering them said, Have you not even read this, what David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him, how he went into the house of God, took and ate the showbread, and also gave some to those who were with him, which is not lawful for any but the priest to eat? And he said to them, The Son of Man is also Lord of the Sabbath. Now it happened on another Sabbath also, that he entered the synagogue and taught. And a man was there whose right hand was withered. So the scribes and Pharisees watched him closely, whether he would heal on the Sabbath, that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts, and said to the man who had the withered hand, Arise and stand here. And he arose and stood. Then Jesus said to them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or do evil, to save life or to destroy? And when he had looked around at them all, he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored as whole as the other. But they were filled with rage and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. As is true with much of this section in Luke, we've covered these two stories in both of our studies of Matthew and Mark. While we could study these stories separately, I have decided to combine them into one episode in order to teach what I believe Luke was teaching, that the Jews really didn't understand the old law, especially as it concerned the Sabbath. In verse 1, Luke uses a peculiar phrase, now it happened on the second Sabbath after the first. What could Luke be saying? To answer this question, let's recall back to our study of Leviticus. When do the Jews count Sabbaths? Between Passover and Pentecost. It therefore makes sense to say that this was the second Sabbath after the first Sabbath that was counted for Pentecost, which would also be the reason why there was standing grain in the field, for the barley harvest was at hand. So the disciples and Jesus were traveling through the fields on the Sabbath day, and the disciples were hungry, so they were plucking heads of grain and eating them. Now to us, that would be a form of stealing, but according to Deuteronomy 23.25, this practice was allowed to satisfy hunger. That's why the Pharisees charged the disciples with breaking the Sabbath and not theft. Now were the disciples doing work? Yes, they were. You were not even allowed to pick up sticks on the Sabbath day according to Numbers 15.35, so surely the disciples had sinned, right? Jesus points the Pharisees to the, to the story of David and the showbread found in 1 Samuel 21, 1-7, a story that you can read on your own time. But just to summarize, there we have the story of David running for his life from King Saul, coming to Ahimelech the priest. David asked for food in order for him and his men to avoid starvation, but the only bread present was the showbread at the tabernacle. Now when we studied Leviticus 24, verses 5-9, we found that when the showbread was replaced on the Sabbath day, the old showbread was only to be eaten by the priests. They weren't to share it with others, not even their family. That is why Jesus said that in eating the showbread, David did that which was unlawful for him to do because he was not a priest. The next question is, was David being charged with sin by Jesus here for eating the showbread in that instance? For after all, sin is the transgression of the law. If that is what he was teaching, as is contended by many, then he would have also been charging his disciples with sin for in general, you were not to go out into the grain fields to gather food on the Sabbath. If, on the other hand, that is not what he is teaching, then what is he teaching? In both instances, neither David nor the disciples had sinned, for neither the law of the Sabbath nor the law concerning the showbread were meant to constrain a person from fulfilling God's law concerning mercy and loving one's neighbor. In the case of David and his men, they were running from Saul and would have starved without any food. The only food available to them was the showbread, for the priests had no common bread. Had they had common bread, that is what the priests would have been giving to David, as David wouldn't have needed the showbread. However, what if Ahimelech had told David that since the law said that the showbread could not be given to him, that there was nothing they could do, and thus David had to go find food elsewhere? 
then Ahimelech would have broken God's law about loving his neighbor. So when weighing two equal commands of God, Ahimelech decided to show mercy to David and give him the showbread. That's what Hosea 6.6 6 means when it says that God desires mercy and not sacrifice, a point that Jesus makes in Matthew's account of this story. God desires both, but sacrifice at the expense of mercy is not acceptable. Therefore, since David was able to be shown mercy and be held blameless, certainly the disciples, who were in the same situation as David, could as well. This point is illustrated again when Jesus heals the man with the withered hand on the Sabbath. Jesus asks, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or evil, to save life or to destroy? Of course, it was lawful to do good. The Sabbath wasn't made to restrict man from doing good. It was made as a blessing. But wouldn't understanding Jesus' teaching in this way lead to situational ethics, where we get to choose which laws to follow and which laws to break? Not if we let God's word be our guide and not our opinions and emotions. Showing mercy to someone is part of God's law, and the proper way to show mercy is also explained in God's law. In the case of David and the disciples, we're dealing with abnormal cases of necessity, not desire, that could only be dealt with in the way that they were. If any other avenue existed for dealing with a necessity, then that is the path that needed to be taken. May we learn this lesson and follow God in all things. With that, our time is up for today. The Lord will only hope you'll join us for tomorrow's discussion of Luke chapter 6, verses 12 to 19, as we continue our walk through the Bible, one verse at a time. I'm not a Thank you for watching today's episode. We hope that you found it edifying and ask that you not only subscribe to our channel and podcast, but that you like and share this episode among your friends so that the saving gospel of Jesus Christ can go out to the whole world. Of his cross.